Sedlow and I'm just going to show you a quick tutorial on how to use high drag iron bombs in the DCS F15E Strike Eagle. I'm just going to call up our uh, BFM and Weapons Trainer mission here. We're in the F15E. Let's uh, first of all select the target point which is 2, so 2 decimal for target. There we go. I'm going to go air to ground mode. Let's uh, call up our targeting pod here. Let us, um, let's call up the ADI here, just so we have some reference because the weather is bad. We'll go into our PAX page, press that little M in the corner, armament, air to ground. On this uh, particular jet, we've got uh, Mark 82 airs, Mark 84 air, and Mark 82 snake eyes. Let's do snake eyes here. Select them. Down here, CDIP, press that button once. And we're going to ripple them off, so RP multiple. We're going to select how many here, okay? This button does the, f the zero, and this is the individual, so we only have six, so we'll go six here. The interval, we're going to have to put a value in here, otherwise they all come off at the same time and they could hit each other. So let's go uh, point zero three zero point three. Okay. Uh, in order to get high drag bombs to fall in the high drag mode, you need to select tail or nose tail here. If you select nose, it will just go off as a free fall bomb and you could frag yourself. And that's the whole point of the high drag bomb. It lets you deliver the weapons from low altitude and it will not blow you up because they will explode well behind you because they are draggy. All right, there's the uh, target point up here. Let's. Uh, Start heading towards it. Down to about 500 feet or so. Alright. Master arm on. Can we see some targets here? There they are. Okay. Almost there. When the thing gets on the thing, we'll press the thing. Boom. There they go. Let's watch. There we go. Hit two of them. Not bad. So that's how you use uh, air-to-ground high-drag weapons. If you enjoyed it, take care.